on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, everywhere that I am, I'm back. And this time to tell you about my first tattoo. What is it like getting your first tattoo? What do you choose? Where do you go? Is it painful? All of those questions that we have before we have our first experience. So I'm doing this in a timely manner because I'm actually looking to get my second tattoo soon. So I'll bring that to you too. But in thinking about that, I thought back on my first experience. And so I got my tattoo about five years ago in San Francisco. I was on a business trip and just thought on a whim, I want a tattoo, get it. If life is too short, just do do it smartly but do it so um i was there for about a week early in the week did some research on tattoo shops and artists there in san francisco and decided to go to seventh sun tattoo so the experience of getting a tattoo so how did i come to deciding what I wanted to get. First of all, I was thinking in a spiritual kind of way, like what did I want to express on my body for my lifetime? So something that was lasting, meaningful. And so I was thinking in a solitary kind of way with me as a soul, what makes me unique, but it's to connects me to the collective universe so I decided to get in Sanskrit um, the Om symbol so um right um in Sanskrit on the I am I am what am I as a being the soul that I am so it was kind of an easy choice to me versus the usual thought process about symbolism and tattoos and a connection to another being and his and hers this and that and commemorating your connection to other individuals um, like your mother your parents your son your um, boyfriend girlfriend husband wife whatever that kind of slice the choices in half so that's why I chose the um symbol because it just resonated with me as something that I wanted to express at the time so my tattoo is like a medium size tattoo that may to some seem small but it's on the nape of my neck so I'll show you a picture of that and then I'm gonna do some acrobatics here to get it in this view but I'll also include a picture a little later in this video so let me try to show it to you. So, I hope the camera got that. But, yeah, so you can see where it is and so how it is now when I wear, wear tank tops and things. You can see it easily. Um, some shirts that I wear that has a higher back area to it the tattoo kind of peaks up above that and so when I had shorter locks um you could see it you know peeking out from behind and I would get lots of questions about it and stuff like that and I didn't you know mind the questions and all of that but um now that my locks are much longer you can't really see it unless I part my locks uh over my neck or something like that but Uh, it's there so sometimes I forget I have it but um, then to now it, very early on throughout the process I wanted another one but I just never got one so I want one now so again I'll bring that to you but the process itself so being in the tattoo parlor you really need to do research about who you're going to have do it because that's the person you need to be comfortable with you need to trust and the person that is going to be 
with you during this experience and uh, there to be in that process with you. So do your research, know what you want to choose and why, and if you're good with having it on your body for the remainder of your life, there's always a way to reverse the, these things and get it removed and all of that and covered over and all of that, but you just really want to be comfortable with what you choose and for me again it was very spiritual the process itself and then having it done and, and then carrying that mark with me throughout my life so I try to exemplify <clears throat> the I am I am peace I am strength I am energy that I am in in various ways in my life so being in the tattoo chair so because of where my tattoo is i was in a regular chair i might have leaned forward like a massage chair or something like that i don't quite remember but um it was comfortable to me i didn't feel uncomfortable at any point in time or that the sensation itself was too intense i'm not going to say pain because it was just a sensation it was an uncomfortable sensation but I want to say it was like painful because initially when you first feel the needle and it's buzzing away on your skin and you know the um, mechanism of the tattoo is putting you know ink underneath your skin so it is poking at a million I don't know how many um, pokes per minute and all of that the mechanics of it but it's uncomfortable um it also depends on where you get the tattoo to the location of the tattoo so the nape of the neck is sensitive for me because when I was a teenager I had back knee instead of acne on my face it was on my back and so my skin has always been really sensitive there and so you know having the constant motion sensation rubbing scratching a little you know sensation there um was uncomfortable but again I want to say painful it wasn't ever a moment where I was wincing or like whoa this is too much I don't know if I could do this for another 30 minutes 45 minutes or whatever so when you it, it depends on the artist too how much pressure they use if they outline the tattoo I think most do outline the tattoo first and then fill it in so the filling part it got a little bit more deep of a sensation um but after the initial i would say two to three minutes i kind of numbed out to the process i don't know if it was my body's endorphins or whatever um neurotransmitters and things help you through painful situations or uncomfortable situations but that kind of kicked in and for most of it it was just mellow and chilling out and having a little bit of conversation with the artist so it was cool but it depends again where you get the tattoo or i heard that tattoos that are on bone or close to bone like tattoos on your feet hands ribs you know bony areas hurt more so because mine was on the nape you have a pad of like firmer skin and then some bone from the neck area so it was a combo for me but again it was not very painful so that was my experience overall I like to hear from you guys um I'm gonna have a poll here so do you have a tattoo if so how many and did it hurt um, and then also I will bring you what my thought process process is for the next tattoo that I want to get this time I think it is going to be commemorative of a relationship or more two relationships I don't know yet but um, I'll bring that to you as well but definitely want to hear from you guys so take the poll comment below like share with your community and subscribe because i love bringing content to you guys and seeing the visitors to my planet grow okay we have to you know make this planet our zen place 
the earth that it is but then also my planet planet venus the planet of beauty and sharing and wonder and whimsy and freedom so do bring others into our community and onto this planet so until then be well family and peace